hello 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 welcome and thank you for stopping by um this is my second fan art video and i feel like i'm getting better with my lines i'm um, using the huion tablet i can already see that i've progressed a bit especially in the shading this picture i did um you know i did have a lot more dramatic lighting and i utilized the gradient i think a bit better this is um a still from the series penny dreadful which will probably always be one of my favorite shows. Um, comment down below if you've watched it and who your favorite character was. So let's talk about this show. The casting was phenomenal. The setting and the costumes and the dialogue were all just really top tier. <laughs> when this show ended, I was cut. Eva Green is one of my all time favorite actresses. She just really fits into the genre spectacularly well. I also thought she did an amazing job in Dark Shadows. Um, this show takes a bunch of characters from old horror stories like Frankenstein, the Wolfman, the picture of Dorian Gray, and spins them all into one storyline. You have Eva Green as Vanessa the lead. Uh, she has special powers that make her, you know, kind of seductive to the dark forces all around them. And along the way, um, they sort of build up a team. Josh Hartnett plays Ethan Chandler, one of her potential love interests. Um, I don't feel like they did them justice in the end. The last season felt very rushed and you had like an entire ocean between Ethan and Vanessa during the ramp up of the season. And he doesn't show up until the very end to, spoiler alert, casually kill her. <laughs> Just kills her. Uh, my favorite character in the series, aside from Vanessa's, would have to be Frankenstein's monster, John Clare, who was played by Rory Kinnear. Um, I also felt like there ought to have been more interaction between his character and Vanessa's, though John's storyline on his own was very strong. He was an intriguing character, and I really liked his dialogue. Um, he was sort of made evil through, like, the neglect and cruelty from Frankenstein and the other people about his appearance. Um, although he remained an optimist, um, he was always kind of being blindsided by the people he trusted because they showed him just a little bit of kindness. Of course, there was that one really big incel moment he had where he fucking attacked that girl because she rejected his advances when he just popped up in her room, but <laughs> that aside, um, you also had Timothy Dalton, who played Vanessa's father figure, and he did such an amazing job, and he was just a really morbidly, uh, morbidly, <laughs> morbidly, morally dubious character. Um, you never really doubted whether Ethan was a good guy or a bad guy. You do come to realize um, he has done terrible things in war, but that he ultimately took the right side. He also happened to do a lot of evil things he couldn't remember, being the Wolfman. Or as we come to understand his character, Lupus Day, the Hound of God. His whole mission supposedly being to protect Vanessa from the forces of evil. Yet, at the end of the series, he's off in America resolving his daddy issues with a witch while Vanessa is all alone and succumbs to the vampire lord. And then he ships his butt back in time to bust in and kill her. <laughs> and he doesn't even kill a vampire. Vampire guy just gets upset, runs out of there once Vanessa is dead. So she just ultimately had to die and experience no happiness because the people around her did a big goof. <laughs> big oof. <laughs> There's a lot of care into um, making the series. Like I said, they brought everything together in a masterful way, but left you hanging on some big moments that they ought to have fleshed out a lot better. So Ethan, um, he dates a dying girl who is ultimately made into a monster by Frankenstein. Her name is Brona. Frankenstein betrays Ethan and murders Brona in the hopes of offering her up to John Clare to avoid being murdered because... John Clare starts stalking his creator and making his life miserable, you know, tormenting him. I think he kills, like, Van Helsing right in front of him just to punish him for being a, a jerk. <laughs> of course, um, Frankenstein, being a weird creep, um, falls in love with this girl um, that he murdered and brought back to life and lied to and touched while she was dead. And that doesn't go well. Um, Brona, who's actually played by Billy Piper leaves both Frankenstein and his original monster, John Clare, to go shack up with Dorian Gray. And then they break up in the end, because she becomes super woke and Dorian isn't having it. 
And then that's it. Ethan never sees her again, never realizes he was betrayed and that Brona is still alive in some form. Although the other monsters get their memory back, Brona only seems to remember her tough life on the streets and not the love of her life, Ethan. And they never resolve anything. Would have loved to see Ethan and Frankenstein have a nice little chat about that. I'm just saying. I'm aware they've made a sequel to this with a new actress, um, but I just can't bring myself to watch it. Eva Green as Penny Dreadful was everything to me. <laughs> she does horror so extremely well, and, um, you know, she's so beautiful, but she's not afraid to go, like, full ugly to really sell a scene. <laughs> she could be relaxed and just kind of look like a model, or she could really play up those big eyes, and she just looks completely psychotic. Like, get you a girl who can do both. That's Eva Green. The show definitely ended too early. I think it was one of the best shows I had seen on Netflix in a while, but of course that means that it's out the door. Seems like Netflix only wants to invest in cheap shows or cancel their good ones before their time, all because they really wanted for them was just to get new subscribers, which is again um, really too bad, though they're bringing back the OA, so I might forgive them. We'll see how that goes. Not shockingly, um, I shipped Vanessa with Ethan. He's pretty nonplussed by all the demonic crap going on. He's strong, and he has that need to feel redeemed and to protect the innocent. So there's no better body to go guarding than Vanessa since her choices determine the fate of the entire world. But it's whatever. Go to the Wild West, Mr. Chandler, and consort with a psychotic witch. It's whatever. Great time to put your past to rest, but... <laughs> I've always been a big fan of Hartnett, um, one of my favorite movies of all time, having to be Lucky Number 11. It also, of course, had the Holy Trinity being Ben Kingsley, Bruce Willis, and last but not least, Morgan Freeman. So you should definitely go check that movie out if you like those fast-paced, kind of clever action movies. So yeah, I feel like um, I'm definitely improving. Please leave a comment below to let me know what you think and how you believe I can improve. I hope... Um, you have a great day on Earth, wherever you are.